I've always drunk since I left school, but the drink problem became a problem really about four or five years ago. I've been arrested that many times, I have lost count, so I didn't give a shit about life. Gary's from Kirkdale, a deprived part of North Liverpool. He was a typical low level serial offender in an area where most crime is drink or drug related. Gary found himself in a new type of court, a bold experiment set up four years ago, modelled on a court in Brooklyn. I could have went to um, prison for six weeks, but I had the offer to do six months in a treatment centre. Judge Fletcher gave me the opportunity to sort myself out. I would describe this as a, as a radically different initiative. The problem-solving approach both within the court and in the community itself, bringing everyone together, heads down, sorting out the problem there and then to get some real differences in, uh, uh, in the way in which we're able to deal with people. Unlike other courts, one judge oversees all cases and has the powers to sentence immediately. He can then draw upon the support of a wide range of agencies, from citizens' advice to drug treatment workers, all located under the same roof. This allows Judge Fletcher to take what he calls a therapeutic approach to cases. Sadly, one of the most radical initiatives in criminal justice is now being quietly buried. Ministers have abandoned plans to roll out similar centres, saying they cost too much. Locking people up, particularly for short periods of time, results in them coming back into the community. This is a very stable community. They are going to see that individual back among them and almost certainly, in their perception, causing exactly the same sorts of problems, if not worse, than before. How's it going right? Yeah. Are you enjoying them? I wouldn't say enjoying it, but I feel like it's fair from, like, you know, for me punishment and everything, so... Yeah. This is the only court in the land that orders offenders to five days a week on community payback, rather than the usual one or two days a week. It's satisfaction as well. It's like when we finish this field, we'll know that we've tidied this field up. I was scared that I could have went to prison, but Judge Fletcher's seen something in me that I can sort myself out. It's given a great number of them the confidence that they needed to say to themselves, I can do this, I can actually do a job. And these are people who've never worked in their lives often. And, and we've got some very interesting stories where we've, we've managed to work with local employers and, and, and they're in full-time work. We were, yeah, we were dubious, though, weren't we? You know, when we first heard well, what was that. happening, it was like, ooh, what should we do? You know, like, lock your back doors, lock your front oh, no. doors. But at the end of the day, before they come to clean up... A mess. A mess. Yes. Absolutely mess. mess. They do a better job. I'm sorry if you do a better job than the council. They do. The role that the judge takes in the whole criminal justice process has changed. At one time, we were the managers of cases. We were there to ensure that the not guilty were not convicted. So we were very concerned with the criminal justice process. And I think not so concerned about with the criminal justice outcomes. The therapeutic approach is, is related to the judge, the court system, getting much more involved in the causes of the offending behaviour so as to hopefully ensure there is no re-offending at the end of the day. The Liverpool experiment costs £1.8 million a year to run, deemed too expensive by ministers. A stripped-down community justice centre in Salford costs only £100,000 a year. Judge Fletcher's therapeutic approach to people like Gary will remain just an experiment. I've got loads of gratitude. I wanted help, but I just didn't know how to get it. And I'd have just lied down, done my time, got out, and I'd have just done the same thing over and over again. He handed that help on a plate, so I took it.